Once you understand what your eye dominant status is, it's time to talk about gun fit. Now before we jump into gun fit, it's critical for you to understand that a consistent mount is always going to be a prerequisite for going to get a gun fit. There's no reason to go out and spend three or four thousand dollars on a custom stock when you don't have a practiced consistent gun mount. If you don't mount the gun to the same place on your face every single time, you don't mount it the same way every time, it's a waste of money to go out and spend a whole lot of money on getting a custom gun fit. What is critical, even before you go out and get a custom gun or before you have a consistent mount, is that you have a reasonably fitting gun. Why do we need a reasonably fitting gun? Because in shotgun sports, we're not lining up the sights or the barrel with our eye. That has to be done naturally. So as you raise the gun to the cheek, make contact with the cheek, you should have good eye barrel alignment. If you, can't, if you don't achieve that, it means that the gun doesn't fit for one of a number of reasons which we're going to go through here. A perfectly fitting gun or a well-fitting gun is one that I have right here. I'm, my eye dominant status, I'm right eye dominant. Empty gun. And I'm going to show you what a fitted gun looks like from the instructor's perspective. So you'll see that my right eye is aligned with the center of the rib and my eye is slightly above the rib so I can still see the target above the barrel. Now let's see what that looks like with the eye cam. Cast is a measurement of where the comb of the stock is in relationship to the center of the rib. How far left or right the comb needs to be to the, from the center of the rib depends on your facial features. If I don't have enough cast in my gun, then what's going to happen is my eye is going to come up on the inside of my gun. And as you'll see, my right eye is not aligned with the rib, but instead is on the inside. Now, if you're behind the gun, let's see what that looks like from your perspective. If you have too much cast or your mount is such that you're rolling over the stock, your eye will come, will rest to the outside of the gun. And once again, you'll see my right eye is outside the barrel and is not aligned with the center of the rib. Now let's see what that looks like from your perspective if you're behind the gun. Another couple of problems we can run into with gun fit is the gun, the comb of the stock may be too high for you. So your eye may rest at a point that's far too high above the gun to be effective. Again, we're looking for the gun to be shooting where you're looking and if your eye is far above the rib, it's not going to be shooting where you're looking. Let's see what that looks like with the eye cam. Another problem we might see is if the comb is actually too low. What's going to happen in that case is as you mount the gun, right at the last minute before you pull the trigger, you're going to lose the target in your, in your eye because now that gun is masking your, your dominant eye and you will not be able to see the target. In that case, we need to raise the comb of the gun. Lastly, let's talk about length of pull. This is one of the most common problems I see in shorter shooters, youth shooters, and lady shooters, is they typically shoot with a gun that's too long for them. If you shoot with a gun that's too long for you, you're just not going to have a lot of fun. You're going to be sore the next day. You're going to get beat up. Uh, but essentially, the way a gun should fit from a length of pull perspective, and the length of pull is the distance between the middle of the trigger and the middle of the butt pad, is that the nose should come up about an inch or two fingers from the base knuckle of the thumb back to your nose. That is a well-fitting gun. A gun that's too long for you will look something like this. A gun that's too short for you will look something like this where your nose is coming up against the base knuckle of your thumb or even in front of the base knuckle of your thumb. Again, all aspects of gun fit are simply to get the eye aligned with the barrel once you naturally mount the gun and to get the gun to shoot where your eye is looking.